now i take this immense pleasure of inviting kazuya kawakas to high school teacher japan to deliver speech on disaster prevention education combining scientific understanding of disaster with knowledge of disaster mitigation strategies Thank you for inviting me to this meeting. Uh, yeah. Could you, could you listen? Yeah, yeah, it's clear. Okay. I would like to thank. Can you, can uh, you please share your slides? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's too late. <laughs> It's too late. Oh. oh. Can you see the screen? Yes, it's visible. Yeah. Please continue. Yeah. I am Kazuya Kawakatsu, and I am a nat uh, natural science educator at a high school in Japan. I'm speaking from Japan now, 6.30 p.m. in Japan. The reception is not very good, so I am worried about whether I will be able to receive your um, questions. It's okay to send message from here, so don't worry. Today, I would like to talk about this theme. Disaster prevention education, combining scientific understanding of disaster with knowledge of disaster mitigation strategies. I have received various hours in Japan for my many initiatives in natural science education. As you can see by now, I'm not good at English, even though I am a speaker at this international conference, I am not good at English, sorry. Therefore, it would be helpful if you could listen to me with an open mind. So let's start my speech. Japan is a disaster prone country. Earthquakes, tsunamis, volcanic eruptions, typhoons, and other disasters occur almost, occur almost every year. So, do you know this disaster? These pictures show the aftermath of the Hanshin Awaj earthquake. This disaster occur, occurred at five 46 a.m. on January 17th, 1995. This earthquake had a magnitude of 7.3. The epicenter was between Northern Awaj Island and Tarumi District, Kobe in Hyogo Prefecture, Southwestern Japan. Kobe is an international port city that represents Japan. Urban areas of Kobe city located near the epicenter were 
especially greatly damaged. The number of victims reached 6,434 people. And our school is located not too far from the epicenter of Hanshin Awaji earthquake. A massive fire broke out immediately after the earthquake. The highway collapsed and displaced people flooded the school playground. Many of the students in my class were affected and several died. Lessons learned from this disaster can be promote earthquake education. We learn the importance of disaster preparation, disaster mitigation, as well as individual and group aid. For example, we are taught about checking hazard maps and rolling in earthquake insurance building earthquake resistant buildings as well as checking shelter locations and evacuation route and preparing disaster prevention goods but do we only need to learn the actions of what happens after a disaster occurs. We believe we cannot think about disaster prevention without knowing how disasters occur. It is necessary to understand the natural world scientifically and to practice disaster prevention activities on individual and societal scales to protect ourselves from disasters. That is to say, the best disaster prevention is not memorization, but logical understand understanding. Our school has been designated as a super science high school since April, April 2020 by the Minister of Education, Culture, Sports, Science and Technology. It is commonly referred to as SSH. SSH is a project in which Japan's Ministry of Education, Culture, sports, science, and technology designated cutting-edge high schools and invest the budget in order, in order to promote science and mathematics education. Currently, approximately 210 high schools across Japan have been designated and are conducting research and development on science and mathematics education in their classes. The SSH is a program for high schools that focus intensively on STEAM education. STEAM education is an educational philosophy that adds creativity education to science and mathematics education in the five areas of science, technology, engineering, arts and liberal arts, and mathematics, you know. Our school has four core goals. First, Challenges for international activities with a focus on earth science. 
Today, I would like to talk about this in detail. Second, training of science girls and challenges for international activities. In Japan, natural science education for female students is still insufficient. When girls go on to science universities or get jobs in the sciences, they have more difficulties in understanding society than boys. Girls have to work harder than boys. Therefore, we plan various programs to support girls who are doing their best. For example, we organize a conference, Girls Expo with Science Ethics, where high school students from all over Japan and more Third, make role model of science ethics education and sending out in inside and outside the prefecture of Japan. For example, students will discuss the topic of what do you think of organ transplantation. The contents of the discussion will be presented at the Girls Expo with Science Ethics. Fourth, challenges for international activity, activities of science club. In 2022, the students spoke at an international conference on earth science education. And the most important research and development team of our school is international activities based on our science. Our school has set up a basic inquiry-based study of natural science program to encourage comprehensive study across the four fields of science physics, chemistry, biology, and earth science in first and second grade. There is also inquiry-based study of science and mathematics research based on earth science for all grades. In this system, all students study across the four fields of natural science physics, chemistry, biology, and earth science, as well as mathematics. And so we can gain a comprehensive understanding of natural phenomena and natural disasters. By the way, physics, chemistry, biology, and earth science are overlapping fields. We cannot understand nature without comprehensive learning. A female researcher friend of mine entered university in history and after graduation re-entered the faculty of science to study the folding of butterfly wings. After that, she worked at JAXA, Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, to do research and development on storage of spacecraft antennas. However, usually students don't study these four natural sciences, but only choose to study two or three of these four science fields, physics, chemistry, biology, and earth science in Japan. Therefore, comprehensive study of the four natural sciences is 
only possible through the SSH program. We believe it is necessary to approach science interdisciplinary sciences. Well, why do we use our science as a base? This is related to the perspective that the experience of the Hanshin Awaji earthquake has given us. Basic inquiry-based study of natural science is not the simple union of basic subjects, but using our science as a foundation. In other words, we learn the basics in individual subjects and link this with the earth science through experiments and observation in this program. In this diagram, easy to understand, I can give examples such as running the centrifugal force of physics by studying the shape of the earth, running molecular bonds in chemistry by running magma differentiation and mineral crystallization and running the evolution of living organisms by studying fossils. In this way, students learn science comprehensively through experiments and observations in earth science. <laughs> As mentioned above, students work to gain a comprehensive cross-discipline understanding of basic natural science with us science as a representative, representative subject, sorry, for understanding of basic natural science, students study mainly basic chemistry through the second grade. We gain a broad perspective and basic knowledge in basic inquiry-based study. In addition, through practice in basic inquiry-based study of science and mathematics, students can gain logical and critical thinking skills, as well as developing discussion and presentation abilities. In addition, the ability to show points objectively with mathematics and language skills to communicate communicative with others are necessary. Also students <coughs> will actually go outdoors for earth science practicals in basic inquiry-based study. We investigated the Nojima Fault of the Hanshin Awaji earthquake and visited the Disaster Reduction and Human Renovation Institution to learn about disaster prevention and mitigation since 2021. Before that, surveys were conducted. Here are the results. We found many students said that they strongly agree or agree with all of the questions. Finally, I introduced students' feelings about this training Student A, disaster preparedness 
covers topics like preparing necessary resources, resources and improving local scale communications. Communal relations seem to be weakening, so we think that we need to resolve this. We feel that it is important to know more about the mechanisms of mechanisms of aspects and the difference between di direct aspects and trench aspects because our visit to the institute reaffirmed the need to understand things that we were not deeply familiar 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 with or had only somewhat thought about thought about sorry student b during the morning visit to the nojima fort we felt very pained as we listened to the stories of the victims in addition the visit to the fault and the earthquake experience center were variable experience for us as we were able to actually see things with our own eyes that we had not only seen in the textbook and to feel the tremors, tremors of a seismic intensity seven quake. Student C. At the Disaster Reduction and Human Renovation Institution, we saw debris from the time of the earthquake, which further heightened or uh, uh, heightened our awareness of the importance of disaster prevention and disaster mitigation. When we went home, we wanted to talk with our parents about what we learned that day and make as much use of it as possible. Student D, we had never thought about the detailed mechanisms of earthquakes, so we are glad that this training program gave us an opportunity to learn about them. If we hadn't studied the underlying science, the underlying science, something that the SSH program uniquely allows us to do, we wouldn't have got us much out of this trip. We would have smiled, nodded, and forgotten everything right away. In this way, our school's SSH program gives its students good stimulus. There are two points I would like to combine. combine. First, since as science is a fundamental subject, that covers the natural sciences, we provide education that integrates four fields in earth science. The second, for disaster prevention education, it is necessary to have a logical understanding of nature and education on how to take social disaster prevention actions. Thank you for your attention. Do you have any questions or comments? Thanks. Thank you.